I'm bitching about uh, guns, gun safety, uh, and everything that's been happening with with guns and like people who like really really love guns. And I just saw that family. It was like a senator. He posted his like Santa bring ammo. Oh, it's just it's, <laughs> it's so disgusting because because the people that represent guns are allowed to do that. Like if it was people that looked like me that was all over it. Like it would be a different story. So right. uh, I just I hate to see I hate to see those Christmas cards with those guns, man. And like especially after a tragedy happened um like last week. So but we'll get into all that stuff. We'll get into it in our bonus episode. But yes, you're referring to Representative Thomas Massey mm-hmm. uh, of Kentucky saying Merry Christmas. P.S. Santa, please bring ammo with mm-hmm. his entire family holding an automatic rifle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And the thing about those guns is like there's there's a higher percent chance that they're they're gonna kill each other than kill anybody that's coming into their house. Yeah, yeah, no, how many do you need? Like what this is it first of all, number one, this photo looks photoshopped. Yeah, because it's so ridiculous. And the gun he personally is holding is so big. Mm-hmm. It's like a sniper rifle. This is every zero dark thirty Afghanistan movie fucking mm-hmm. Just, yeah, it's just in it his fucking cheesy grin. And like, why is the couch so small? Right? Yeah. <laughs> exactly. You spend money on your couch. Yeah, That's bro. very important. You use it every day. Although, who knows what they're doing with guns every day? I mean, yeah, it's, uh, it's a good thing to bitch about. I mean, the insensitivity, especially, it's That's, like, yeah, yeah, they're beyond it's, shame it's just, at this point. Yeah. Like, we still got them. You're not gonna take our guns from us, and no one, no one, literally, no one has ever tried to take people's guns, and that's the, that's the biggest myth of anything that that has been pushed by gun manufacturers and lobbyists to say, you know, we want to take. No one, literally, no one has ever tried to take anyone's guns. No, um, I wish they would. I'm gonna be totally straight up with you, mm. like. I'm I, I'm I know I'm supposed to say like no one's coming for your guns, but you know what I really want to say? Yeah, we're coming for your guns. Like <laughs> we're just gonna take them. Like you're a domestic abuser, we're gonna take your fucking gun. Yeah, there needs to be more. Per, there needs the parameters need to be be adjusted. Um, but most of the gun laws that we have in in store today are to keep guns out of minorities and uh, and women's hands. So that's why all the gun laws are put into place. So, right. so like if 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 a bunch of women just went out and bought guns, or a bunch of black people just went out to legally buy guns, like things would start changing. Oh yeah, I mean th- that is not the full point of the Black Panthers, but one very strong pillar of their what you know undergirded their politics was like mm-hmm. we're being killed anyway, so self defense. This is it, right? Yep. Mm-hmm. Um, now, of course, then the entire state apparatus turned against them and yeah. systematically murdered and undermined their cause. But, you know, that was you know, like, eh, the, 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 you, when this shit happens, you're like, no, yeah, more people should be armed just to almost prove that point. But, of course, they risk being assassinated. Um, yeah. And gun laws in California changed after... Like you could like when the when they went and got the Black Panthers from the Capitol, they changed the laws where you couldn't be in the in the Capitol with with firearms. So right, yeah, which is also like very head scratching during the you know sort of the Michigan State Capitol you know uh, bullshit around COVID restrictions and Mm -hmm. all the militias turning up, and you're like, wait, is this at all legal? Mm-hmm. Were, were, were there any ramifications out of that? No. So in Michigan, it's different. It was different. It's a different law. And like every state has their own different gun laws. And and that's why I think it also needs to be regulated federally. Uh, that could yeah. also change a lot of things. Because California, we do have a stricter policy than most states like Wisconsin, Illinois. You know, you pretty much can right. go to Walmart and get a rifle. What's going on, Frantifa? If you haven't already, subscribe to this channel right now. Hit that button. And also, you can become a patron and support the show every single week. Get access to bonus episodes and exclusive merchandise. Patreon.com slash Bituation Room. Do it.